including this video, I will share with you some sweet, sweet knowledge when it comes to scenting soft silicone lures. I will divide this video into two parts. In the first one, I will lay out my take on scenting soft silicone lures. In the second one, I will show you some fishing from the kayak where I go after big perch and obviously I'm catching some decent ones. So it will be a good one. Please make sure you stick around. The way I look at scented soft silicone lures is relatively basic. In my head, scented lure is a little bit more appealing to the fish and from time to time it will enable me to bank an extra fish. I'm talking here about small percentages. It's not like that that one is not catching anything and then sends his or her lure and goes from zero to hero. It does not work like that. I'm talking here about small percentages, about small edges. To my understanding, scents on soft silicone lures will help the angler in two ways. First of all, in murky waters, when the fish or predators will be using more their smell, so they won't be able to use their vision or their lateral line to find the food, will be using smells and obviously scented lure will leave some traces of those smells in the water and hopefully fish will be able to find those lures easier and grab them. Obviously it will mean that angler will get more bites. The second way scented lures do help for the angler is the following one. So when the fish grabs the lure, some extra attraction or smells just will be exposed from the lure or just released from the lure and it kind of will feel more delicious to the fish and fish will grab the lure more aggressively and hold on to it for longer so it means that the angler will be able to see the bite or will have more time to see the bite and strike into it and hopefully land the fish and that's awesome. Scented lures are the most effective when slow presentation is used. That is when the lure is slowly dragged on the bottom with long pauses, little twitches and so on. This is because the fish will have the time to inspect and investigate the lure and decide whether it's good thing for it to eat or not. And contrary, when the lively presentation will be used with big jumps, quick drags, straight quick retrieve and so on, then the fish will be interested more not what the lure is, how it smells, but what it does. And in those situations, scented silicone lures may not have any effect whatsoever. So that's vital piece of information as well. When it comes to scent application onto soft silicone lures, again there are two ways to achieve that. First of all, as most of the lures do come in a plastic bags, the sealable ones, then all you do just grab your choice of smell and just spray it inside. You don't need a lot as well and then you seal the bag and then you can leave it for weeks and weeks actually the longer you will leave the smell onto the lures the better it will penetrate into the silicone but again this method is time consuming the second method or trick is quite good one basically all you do is take the lure of choice take let's say a hook and make a lot of holes in that lure with that hook. As many as you want really. Don't spend hours and hours of doing that, but basically in the main body of the lure, I don't know, 20, 30 holes. And then all you do, you just extend the lure a little bit as much as you can and square that lure or on that lure 
the smell of choice and then you can actually rub it a little bit into the lure. Obviously your fingers will be smelly after that, but now what you did, you actually rubbed the spray into those holes and the spray will be kind of persistent for very, very long time. And when the fish will grab the lure, also it means that some of that smell or liquid will come out from those holes and the fish hopefully will hold on to that lure for longer. When it comes to the flavors of the scents I use for my soft silicone lures, those are like similar ones to crab, shrimp, prawn and so on. I don't use anything crazy. Also, one very good tip for you guys or extra tip, don't be afraid to use scents or smells from carp fishing world, but they must be of similar taste as I mentioned, prawn, squid maybe, bloodworm and so on. Obviously those smells or scents will be natural ones. They do work for boilies when carp guys do flavor their boilies, but they will work very very well on soft silicone lures as well, especially if you will spike them with a hook and will make sure that some of the of that smell will go inside of the lure itself. Obviously you can use syringes and so on, but I don't want to go in detail too much basic ideas here. Anyway, let's stop from talking a little bit and let's do some fishing now. Hello guys, as you can see I have a bait caster in my boat and today I'm starting my challenge. 100 big perch challenge I mean so yeah let's go and catch a few nicer ones the river is still very clear but I should be able to pull that off and start my challenge with a bang let's find some guys I think I will park just here for for now That was very slow bite. It's a perch, but not very big one from what I can tell. Still nice fish. But did you see how how slow that 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 bite was? Very very slow. Not what I want, but first one of a day. Nice one. Probably a pound. Definitely not one I want to start or can start my challenge with. I mean too short, probably 30 plus centimeters, so 10 centimeter short, but yeah. See when it comes to the presentation when I'm fishing for perch during colder months and on plastics, you know, I always making sure that my jig would not, you know, really leave the bottom almost. I'm dragging it pausing, introducing small twitches, but never lifting it, you know. Sometimes you can, you know, do some twitches. I'm not a big fan of that. But it worked this time. <laughs> Be a biggie. Feels like a decent fish. Yes, yes, what I want, guys, what I want. Yep, 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 get in that net, yes. Oh, nice one. There is that hook, just in the corner here. It's an angry beast. Come on, come on, relax, Mr. Perch. So yeah, what a way to start my challenge, number one. It must be, oh yeah, it must be 40 centimeters. measure you quickly in a sec. Still some pike grabbed him like not that long time ago. Okay, get on that mat Mr. Perch, stop wriggling. Hey. Are you a little bit short or what? Uh, 
now it's see 60 and it's over 20 so yeah about 41 centimeters nice one couple of pounds kilo kilo plus okay stay in the net for a little bit yes what a way to start my challenge with a nice clear water perch that feels like another good perch please stay on what are you I think that's what I want guys please stay on where are you oh yeah 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 please stay on yes found a little shoal of them in here so we have a couple good fish in the bag who came out I think that second one is a little bit bigger I would say let me quickly check it's not I mean not a monster good good kilo of fish come on you beauties yeah, so that's I think that, oh yeah, that's actually quite a bit bigger fish, the second one, probably 45 centimeters, maybe quite fat as well. Oh yeah, yeah, much, much bigger fish this one is. Just proper lump, proper lump, and clean, absolutely clean, just see. Yeah, that might be a 3 pounds actually, like 1.3 kilo, something like that, okay. Stay here, come on you beauty, where are you? Proper tanks they are. Which one is that bigger? Probably this one. Yeah, that's a very good fish. Very, very good fish. Stop, Mr. Perch. Don't escape. I want picture with you, hopefully as well. Yeah. Okay, about 44, I would say, centimeters. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, yeah. Forty-four. Yeah, nice one. Forty-four centimeter perch. And condition is just menta. Not very fat, could be fatter, but definitely something, something very good. Lovely evening. I hope it won't start to rain. At least not heavily. Who cool is that, guys? Big school of swans. I don't know. About 15 birds. And I'm into the fish as well while talking about those swans. Not what I want, I think. A little bit smaller, yeah, but maybe they will start to feed a little bit. Came off, nice, thank you. About pound fish it was. That was good. I was waiting until my, you know, line to hit the deck and I just saw my line is going a little bit too fast. And yeah, it's a, not sure, small perch or a small zander, probably small zander. Yeah, <laughs> baby Z nailed on the drop. See that a rig of mine worked beautifully. That uh, hey, 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 no, you're not doing it. So yeah, that little tube went out of the way and. Hooked the fish even on the drop. I did not even have to strike. Yeah, lovely. But again, this one was very, very aggressive, you know. Still is very aggressive. <laughs> so, yeah, we have the mark. Just, I mean, even those under are very, very beautiful fish. For me, they are quite difficult to catch, at least, you know. Uh, so, I never like target them on purpose almost. If I get one, I get one whilst targeting pike or perch.
came off uh, and Lucky still took it. That was good. Feels that it will be an over under, so can't still see it. No, that's a good perch actually. Nice, nice, nice. Nice perchy, getting that net, yep. That was insane, that fish took the lure actually twice. And, uh, because it really wanted to just see, again, that that's a good perch. Two and a half pounds, something like that. You can see that rig worked beautifully, that tube came off and, but again, this one took it properly, so does not matter, you know, <laughs> what the rig almost, as long as it has a hook, it would have hooked it. So yeah, I have a decent perch and decent zander. Nice. That was good. Actually, I turned off my camera for, for a sec, and then uh, turned it back on, and I noticed little click on, on the rod tip. What is it? I think it will be just another small Z, I think. Yeah, it is a Z. Uh, a Z, I think it won't be a perch. Holding the bottom, it will be a small Z. Yeah. yeah. Not that small. Maybe three pounds, something like that. Maybe a little bit more. Get in that net. Rig worked beautifully. That was good first, you know, cast on the slur and again everything worked beautifully. That little sleeve hooked that fish no problem. Well, or came out of the way when the fish grabbed the lure. That was a little click. But yeah, another day you won't get a bite from those that's with the liner, not sure, but definitely it was something, yeah. Can't believe two casts and I hooked two fish. This one will be a small Z again. No, perch. Is it a big one? Is it uh, long enough? I mean, probably it won't be long enough. Still, can't believe change of the lure. <laughs> Just two cats and two fish. Maybe it will be actually. We'll have to measure them. It will be like. You body really wanted this lure. So from 10, 50, yeah, just actually, just, I was thinking it will be longer, one centimeter, but no, just, see, just, just over 50, not even 51, so yeah, still counts. And yeah, number three, yes, that will be probably, I don't know, four pounds maybe, don't think it will be five pounds. It will be about four. This lovely perch, 40 centimeters, he has some kind of a bump, but he's feeding, should be fine. No, nothing more. By the way, I'm using today one of them improved Jika rigs. As you can see, weight and the lure are sliding in a small loop freely lovely little rig when the going is difficult that's a nice perch maybe a pound 30 centimeters plus does not count unfortunately This one is longer than 40 easy, just not the right species. <laughs> Little Z as you can see guys. Okay, thank you.
and here I have decent perch. Two pounds plus, forty and a half centimeters. Just look at that tail. <laughs> that fish is a beauty, guys. Okay, thank you. Basically, I was about to leave the water, but still decided to choke a couple more times and just look what I managed to catch. <laughs> uh, two and a half pounds, something like that. 43 centimeters. Quite slim fish, though. <laughs> so yeah, number four guys, beautiful. <laughs> okay guys, managed biggest of the season so far. 48 centimeters, sorry, 47 centimeters. Unfortunately for this perch, it's been grabbed by some massive pike as you can see, but it's feeding, it will survive. Uh, I don't know the weight yet, it will be like 1.5 kilo something like that it's a huge fish just not very fat so yeah number five for me in my big bird challenge how about that guys monster okay let's go back thank you this one is a little bit smaller just 40 centimeters exactly i hope you can hear something because of the wind but anyway second for the day and number six overall beautiful let's go back right guys you would not believe third big fish for the day and this one is absolute monster as well and mint fish at 45 46 centimeters let me show for you check it out guys <laughs> he's a menta <laughs> as they say 45 46 centimeters absolutely mint fish we'll grab a couple of shots with that beauty and we'll chuck it back Right guys, you would not believe, I just managed to bank two and I have two good fish in the net so I will pull them out and show both of them to you. That's the one. Goes into the water and that's the other one. So yeah, number nine for me, awesome. Guys, you would not believe, number six for today when it comes to big perch, which makes number ten for me in my challenge. Oh, ho, ho. perch juggling it was. So yeah, this one is not in the best shape. I mean, the dorsal fin is a little bit damaged, probably. This body was in a fight with some big pike, but managed to get out. Anyway, number 10, and just look at that mouse. <laughs> Definitely, you don't want to be a roach when perch like this one is swimming about. So yeah, number 10, let's go back. Thank you. But it'll be it from me for today. I hope you'll find this video useful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.